As you probably saw in the previous video, I um, decided to change the position of the sun. Uh, I, I placed it lower, left to the house, and I changed the direction of the shadows as well. But actually the direction of the shadows was not communicating with the location of the sun. I didn't mind because for my composition it was okay and the sun was shining and the shadows were um, good next next to each other the, the direction was good but not in comparison with the sun to the sun um, but I received countless messages about this decision of mine and um, first I didn't want to change it and you were asking if I hadn't seen this or and if I was able to change the location of the sun of the direction of the shadows um, but I didn't want to change it because I loved I really loved the composition I made but yesterday I received some messages again and then something in me asked well can you just give it a try just to see how it looks and it looks better so I'm very thankful to those who look so closely to my videos with so with with this attention and um, I'm sharing my my thoughts and my ideas and insights with you but now I'm learning from my subscribers too so I'm really thankful for that and uh, you made my painting still better I could improve it so if I didn't respond to your message yet and uh, you see this video thank you I did a lot of research on um, the paintings of Vermeer and I don't want to compare myself to Vermeer but um, when you see his nice compositions and you look very close then you see strange details um, impossible details I, I got a book over here with a painting from a street it's nice to show it when we look at this painting the street in Delft maybe you know it it's a famous painting of Vermeer this is a special composition it's a it's a strong composition Um, but there is something physically totally wrong in this composition and I can't believe it's a mistake because Vermeer was so clever you see in his paintings how clever he was and everything must have been a conscious choice look at the windows those huge windows and those huge shutters in it when you open this green shutter on the left side the woman who wants to pass the entrance through the entrance she will bump her head people are, who are living in this house and who want to walk through these entrance with luggage will really have a problem when this shutter is totally open um, Vermeer didn't mind he played with these shutters with yellow, green and red colors like Piet Mondrian played in his abstract paintings later. Uh, again, I don't want to compare myself to Vermeer, but what I'm learning these days is that it's so exciting to change reality. I think the choice is do you want to copy reality or do you want to make a painting using reality? And of course, when you use the reality, it's better that you know how reality works, how it physically works. Um, I'm painting sun with the shadows every day, so I know how it works. But sometimes, uh, like in this painting, it's exciting to, to try to change it. You know, I need the sun here, I need the shadows in this direction. It's physically wrong, but I want to do, do this because the shadows are more straight and the composition is more, well, 
peaceful and the sun is nice next to the house. I actually, I, I didn't mind, it was wrong, but, but as I said yesterday, I gave it a try and now these shadows are really dynamic and the sun is even brighter than before. So I'm, I'm all right with this. I often get messages from people who are trying to purchase this book online in a web shop. But if you don't live in Holland, they don't send it. Uh, send me a message through the contact page of my website. The link is shared in the description of this video. And then I send it myself. So only when you live in Holland, then you can get it in a web shop. But if you're not living in Holland, just send me a message. Uh, and I will take care that the book will be sent.
Arjen, heb je het gevonden? Nou, geweldig. Ik kom naar beneden. Tot zo.
thought it could be nice to speak a little about quality, quality of material. Um, and the question raised up how important is quality of material. Uh, and I think it's not that important actually. I think the goal is that you find a material you need and when it's a brush that takes uh, $200 it's fine but when you find another brush and it takes $20 and maybe it's a better brush for you, brush for you I think that's the most important thing to discover. Uh, it's just how it feels. So uh, the best artworks are not made by the most expensive and the best quality material of course. The most important is of course the, the creator, him or herself, uh, the moment, the abilities, the creativity. Um, the, the first expensive tools I bought were brushes. So I started with these. I only started with two brushes and later I became a vegetarian. So then I found out that these brushes are really well and even cheaper. Um, the second thing was paper. I started with cheap paper but after a few years I found out that this paper is really really good and now I can't work on cheap paper anymore. That's uh, really a shame. And then later I found the better quality paint. That's funny because you should think that paint is the first thing that you need on the, on the, on the best quality but it were the brushes for me. Yeah, and the reason why I buy always the best quality paint and the best quality paper is only because that gives, gives me the feeling that I have some control because I'm working on paintings that I have to deliver in a few days and then I don't want to be surprised by certain effects that I didn't ex expect, you know. But um, I was working outside this weekend and I needed a lot of green because I was working on a sunny day in the park and I forgot my green. Um, and that's, that's a very good thing to forget when you're in a park because then you have to make the greens yourself and then you start studying on the greens on another way than when you just take the green you need. Well, I had this one, uh, this one was left, maybe you remember that video where I started those two watercolor paintings for the office here in town uh, for the wallpaper and the table prints. And I started on this one the first day and then after a day I noticed that I uh, had to keep it on this way, oblong and not in a standing format. But I kept it because I thought that the beginning was really good. So I want to finish it next week. I have to do some other paintings as well, but I think I can finish this one. And uh, the old color painting, the small one, is uh, done. So it's time for weekend. Thank you for watching again. And uh, thank you for your lovely comments. I read them all. And uh, have a nice weekend. See you next week.